folks. This is uh, take two of my IMAX B6 charger. I'm going to uh, show you the cycling capability of this charger. LiPro balance charger. This is uh, for uh, LiPo cells. Originally it's kind of like a hobby, well it is a hobby charger. It charges lithium ion, um, lithium poly polymer, lithium phi, life phi, whatever that is, one six cells. It also charges NICADs, nickel metal hydrides, and lead acid <coughs> batteries. And it charges 1 to 15 cell NICAD nickel metal hydride. It, uh, it charges uh, 2 uh, to 20 volt batteries. And it goes from a charge rate of uh, 0.1 amps to 6 amps in total. And it can also discharge, which means it's really handy to restore or potentially restore older batteries. Now what do I have here is an 18 volt single source. This is from a Black & Decker um, uh, tool set, uh, cordless tool set. And uh, this battery happens to be okay, um, but it'll work well as a test. So you plug this guy in and it does come with alligator leads, which is perfect. And what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm just going to set up a cycling of this battery, which can help uh, relieve or remove um, the memory um, that is on uh, the camera. Alright, well I'm going to apologize straight up for the audio here. I'm taking this with my D90 because I could not actually see the screen when I recorded it the first time. So we're going to try it again here um, so I can show you the screen menu items. I was going to do some picture over top, uh, but that didn't quite, uh, uh, it, well it didn't work as nicely. And there you can see the lithium ion, the NICAD, the nickel metal hydride, the lead, and the charge and discharge rates there. So you can see that pretty clear. Along the bottom you got your battery type, your, your status uh, buttons, and your start. And so if we go into the center here, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cycle through, make sure we're in focus here. I'm going to go and cycle through um, the options here. So basically you can select your LiPo, that's for your LiPo batteries because they require the, uh, the balance charger which uses these extra plugs on the outside. Uh, for your lead acid, uh, let me just focus on those. For your lead acid and such, you only need the two leads, um, these two uh, leads on the side, the plus and minus, obviously. Um, so let me get back in center here and focused up. So I want to show you um, the other battery types here, and specifically um, uh, NICAD, because that's what I was using as the example when I was trying to charge um, the other thing, the, the battery there. So I'm going to click my uh, battery type again, nickel metal hydride, go one more, nickel cadmium and straighten my focus up just a tiny, tiny bit there, there we go, NICAD. So once you're at the particular battery type you want, you click Start. And here we have the option to charge it manually so we can set the current uh, up to uh, 6 amps charge rate for this. But we don't want to do that, so I'm going to go over to the next one, and here you actually have the ch uh, option to discharge your battery. You can select how fast it discharges, the, the rate, so this is set at 2 amps. If I select there, then you can uh, increase your amperage. Uh, okay, max two amps discharge at a time for this, uh, for just, and that's the discharge rate specified on the left there. Uh, but you can decrease it to one if you want. And then what you can do is you press start, and it goes over to the next one, and you can choose what voltage you want to get it down to. So I had an 18 volt battery, so 17.5 volts would be a safe. Um, at least some would uh, agree is a safe discharge area. You wouldn't want to take it down to 12 volts or 7 volts because that would wreck your 18 volt battery, obviously. So you can um, set your voltage there um, like so. So that's the discharge. That's really handy for a hobby charger. This is how you can um, take care of the memory on your nickel metal hydride, your nickel cadmium batteries, etc. to make sure they're not uh, getting a, a, a memory. So let's I press stop there. Let's go back to NICAD. I'm going to press start and let's cycle through the options again. So there's our discharge option. This is the option I want to talk about, uh, the NICAD cycling. So at the top you got your battery type, uh, you got your mode, cycling, and then you see the options down here. Uh, press start on that, and now you can select charge first and then discharge on the first cycle, or discharge first and then charge. So depending on whether you want to end up with the battery charged or fully discharged. Um, I've got to watch my time here, minute 44, because I've only got five minutes on these clips. So what you can do is, if I want to do three cycles and I want to end up with a charge, you would select just discharge first and then charge, and it will discharge, charge, discharge, charge, discharge, charge, and end up charged after three cycles. So I'm going to select this, click start, 
And here I can check my, my number of cycles. So this was three cycles, and that's what I demonstrated there. Or I can do it up to five times. So I actually use this on my Nito, Nito uh, robotic vacuum. It has um, uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. And so I did a bit of exercise on them, and I brought them back to life a little bit. Um, they because they get memories easily, and so if you exercise them by draining them right down to zero, uh, well, uh, right down to very low anyways, and then charge them fully, and then drain them all the way again, and charge them fully, that sometimes helps to improve the life of them, and you get a few more uses, a few more cycles out of the batteries themselves. Um, so after you've done that, you press start, hold the start button down, and then it checks the battery. Now I've got no actual got no battery uh, plugged in there right now and so I'm going to press stop on that that's because this is a few days later when I tried to take that video but I, I just wasn't able to see this so I've got my D90 so I can actually see the screen and make sure but I want to show you that charge discharge cycle so the other options of this are pretty cool like the discharge cycle is is really awesome for hobby batteries for nickel metal hydride and cadmium and then the cycle option is uh, great to exercise some old batteries you've got sitting around your shop or for your uh, remote control cars etc so that's all I wanted to really show you, um, just a kind of a how-to on some of the options here, the discharge, the manual charge, and the cycling, which I think is, is really cool. This uh, charger is, uh, I think I said it before, but it's $20 off uh, Banggood.com. It's called the IMAX uh, B6. Uh, you can get larger versions of this, which do higher charge rates, higher discharge rates, etc., uh, but this one works really well, and it's a really nice utility uh, because it does come with uh, the alligator clips and a whole bunch of other kind of standard uh, connectors, JST and uh, you know whatever other hobby connectors that you can think of. So I'll leave there, guys. Just wanted to do a quick demo of it to uh, show you how to use the cycling option on this unit, and I definitely give it uh, a thumbs up. This is a definite buy if you have batteries hanging around your house that you need to exercise, uh, bring back to life maybe. So thanks for watching. Okay.